words wrong, right? So you know, we got officially we got officially read out um, Evans's excuse live on YouTube. Yes. But, you know, if if we don't do that, right? Yeah. Words wrong, right? So, yeah. There he is. I'm listening to myself, right? The question is, how many people we're going to get listening, watching? Four. You you Sorry. reckon we're going to get a maximum of four people? Possibly. That 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 will be a world record. It would be, yeah. And uh, and 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 you know, I, I I'm just I'm just doing a bit of sharing at this minute. You know, you know what they say in life? Hmm. You know, what they say sharing is caring. You know. I don't sharing what I don't know sharing. Sharing plastic reusable cups that have been used by fifty people. That's sharing. It's caring. I, I, do you know what? That's, that's a really nice word um, you used there. Caring. Caring. Care. It's, it's like a Cardiff word, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's just like... Uh, I, do, do you know There's no likes. Oh, there's one person watching. Oh, my God. And it, but they haven't even liked. Is he talking about canaries? No. Oh. What's, what's that? Cardiff. I think we were talking about canaries, and I was going to sing Auntie No, Mary. no, we, no, we, no, no, no. The <laughs> We, we were no, talking okay. about sharing is caring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Staff's already good at that. Sharing yeah. is caring, yeah. you know? Yeah. I, actually, actually, I I know I know somebody who was really good. They they shared they shared their COVID around ten people. <laughs> I, I I I I thought that was really nice of them. I, they they you know put put your hat off to them, right? But then again, you know, is that going to give us antibodies like chicken pox? You know, as a child, we have like chicken pox parties. And we don't you you would, Rosamond, you were never a child, were you? <laughs> no, you know, I wasn't. A bit like staff, always quite grown up, really. All <laughs> right. Oh, right. Oh, it's, it's, it's one of those things. Oh, we're, 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 we're like, we're, this, this, this we're has... live. Okay, I'll get off. <laughs> well, we, we were doing the live on YouTube thing then. Oh, she's gone. I tell you what, I, I tell you what, stardom does, doesn't get her, does it? Do you know what I mean? No, not in the slightest. She could be a star on YouTube to like maximum of four people. But there is one person watching, and I've put a like on there as well. All right, so what we're going to do, we're, we're going to share it with somewhere else in a minute. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get some more people on you. World, world archaeology. We'll have a bit of world archaeology there. I tell you, we'll, we'll, we'll post it again. Hang on a minute. Where, where else should we put this on? I am a boy. Should, should we actually? Um, we can actually post it to the Ronda Valley, just in case. Just, just in case he's watching. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just in case. Do you know? You know the man who we know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the, the 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 little guy. Even. Every everyone likes little little people. It's it's like um you know in you know in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. The Umpa Lumpers. Yeah, there's just something about them. Lovely. There's something about little people called Evan, you know. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I I I, I miss him. Uh, yeah, the YouTube people miss him. Oh no, oh god, I forgot. Yeah, he's not allowed on the YouTube. But anyway, just uh. We we can we can share we can share who he is, man, because he he's part of our life. Yes, of course. Yeah. Now the big question is, right? How many how many people we've got online now? Not many. Not many. No. Oh, okay. Let's just, what not one? We got oh we got two likes. Flash. That's, That's very good. That, that, that's that's amazing. Oh, there's two people watching. Oh my gosh. Do you know? Do you know? I, I think I think right. We we if we if we start in America in in, in America, what? I don't know. Do Do you know what we're doing? Because I don't. Uh, no. Uh, the America thing. The, the yeah. America thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm still I'm still sharing on a few pages at this minute to see if we can get a few more. Um, and just, just, I, I think what we'll do, we'll do, we'll do that one there, right? Yeah. And, and we'll just do one more, staff, right? 
and 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 then then we'll have then then we've done world archaeology sites right we've done uh what who else do we oh yeah america american i will do that one there and one more stab just for luck and we'll get started yeah i wonder if they all understand our accent like you know we're all from cardiff well maybe some of them are from like asia or china china China. No, that's what Donald Trump used to say, you know. China. I wonder I wonder what it would take to get Donald Trump to watch these. Uh quite a bit, uh, I can imagine. Oh right. Okay, so what we've got to do, we've got to do a bit of archaeology in North America. So what do we know about the archaeology in North America, Steve? Um it's well, the country itself is north. The country itself is what? North. The country itself is north. Yeah. No, it's not. It's south as well. Well, no, because it's it's north. And south. Santa must live there. Cause the north Who lives pole, there? You know the 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 guy. He lives there as well. I I, I know him there, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. what what we got to do? We got to put some images on. We got we got. Do you know what we? I I'm really happy with sharing and caring today. You know. Yes, it's the key message. What the what? Nothing. What the P message? What the hell's the P message? The key. Oh, the, oh, the key message. Right, right, right. What? Sharing is caring. Ah, oh, do you know what? You know what? Some sometimes I, I, I think. I think you know what you know you know what that 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 guy misses. Oh, by the way, we we got we got to mention Evan's excuse today, right? Listen to this. Oh, yeah. e Evan's excuse for not taking part today, right? Um, is oh, I I got to write this down, man. Oh, that's good. It says, hang on a minute. It does help if I had a phone that you could actually use properly, right? Here we go. All right. Sorry, Carl. Ivan slept out last night. What? Slept out last night? Where did he sleep? In a field? Slept out in his garden. What? Or like in a garden without a blanket? Well, no, he must have slept in the woods or something. Appar apparently, forgot about all it. This. It's chaos we have builders in and it's half term and trying to work. Oh, that's terrible. You know, Evan's been dumped in a garden. He's just been sleeping out in the woods for like two weeks. That's really good because it's like, well, I, I wonder, right? You know, what was he eating? Was he like eating deer and different things, like you know? He probably but, just didn't eat anything. Yeah, it could be anything. And now we're, we're doing a bit of the old sharing, right? We're 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 gonna we're looking at North America and a wonderful arch, arch, archaeology of North America, right? Um, and we've now got three people watching now, which is absolutely amazing, right? No, 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 no. We're not just doing the archaeology of North America. We're doing the archaeology of South America. That's why we're doing the archaeology of America, right? Yes, yeah. South, North, North, and South America. So that's what we're doing, right? Just... So uh, actually, 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 Stav, if you keep doing that, that's brilliant because you like put it on, put it off, right? That's good. So <laughs> now. Now what we've got, right? When we when we look about the the archaeology of the Americas, right? It used to be said that the history of North America only started when people from Europe got there, right? Which is really insulting because these these Native Americans wandering around the place thinking, hang on a minute, right? You come over here, you eat our, our turkeys, you eat our potatoes, right? You take our trees, you take our land, right? And now you're saying that the history of America begins with you? I tell you what, no, it doesn't, right? Because the history of North America goes way back because it starts with sites like the one in front of us, right? This is called the Meadowcroft site, and this is in Pennsylvania. And the Meadowcroft site itself is an amazing archaeological resource because it, the site itself was found by, by complete accident in 1955 when this guy was looking at groundhog burrows ever seen a groundhog uh 
Is it like um a hog that lives in the ground? Yeah, that's why it's called a groundhog, you numpty. Ah, it makes clear sense. It 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 does make sense. It does make sense. At which point, our wonderful Evan would have come up with an image of a groundhog, which you which you know we haven't done. Anyway, these groundhog things are like little rodents that live in the ground, like big massive rat things with shorter tails. Anyway, the thing is, the thing is, he was looking around this Meadowcroft site in Pennsylvania. Don't even bother trying to spell Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania is in the north northeastern part of North America, right? No, 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 no. No, no, that's completely wrong. No, yeah, Penn. Penn. Penn, Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, it's close. That'll do. That'll do. Um, the Meadowcroft site is in Pennsylvania, and it's on the northeastern part of North America, right? Um, South America. Oh God, United States, and then between the United States and Canada. Anyway, they found this site by complete accident, and they started finding some really old artifacts. Now, how old are these artifacts? You're, you're asking. Come on, ask these uh, ask these obvious questions. The, yeah. the thing, the th shut up. And you can shut up as well, Evan. Yeah. Right. The Meadowcroft site itself, when 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 they started excavating it, they realized that the, the layers of the Meadowcroft site were so, so deep that it was only in 2015 that they started realizing that the archaeological evidence from the Meadowcroft site in Pennsylvania, right, underneath. A, um, a rock hang like this, basically a rock hang is where, where it's been eroded underneath and people would live in there, slightly different from a cave. Um, and all that's collapsed. And, you know, they, they, they say that um, there were 12, no, no, let's start again. There were uh, nearly 14 feet of layers, various different layers. Yeah. Oh, I'm just being asked if I want a cup of tea. I'll have a cup of tea and Stav will have one as well. Do you want a cup of tea, Stav? Oh, yeah, go on. You'll have one as well. You know, do do the Evan accent so Michelle thinks there's someone else here. Cal, Cal, there's 14 minutes left, Cal. No, there Cal. ain't four. Shut up, there ain't. There ain't. Shut up. I tell I you what. I tell you what, right? I really, I, I really, I, we, we, you and I love Evan to bits, right? But we missed him. We miss him. You no? Know? Yeah, he's gone. We miss him. He's been living outside, right, in his tent. <laughs> if we'd have known, right, we could have gone over there at night, right, and spooked the hell out of him, right? Yeah, we could have. And like, what we could have done, we could have got like um, these pop-up figures around, all dressed like Native Americans, right? Because I've actually got the turkey feathers, right? So, so we could have like made made the made a Native American turkey headdress like that. Hang on, hang on. Look at that. Does that look good? It looks amazing. It does. It does. It does. Anyway, the point is when the point I got a feather on my head. What the hell? Anyway, anyway, the the point the point is right. The point is with with this wonderful site, they suddenly started to work out. They did some radiocarbon dating evidence of the Meadowcroft site, right? Radiocar, you got to put um, uh, radiocarbon fourteen. Okay. R radiocarbon fourteen. They, oh, we've we've lost all our watchers now. Oh, we we got one. We got two back. That's good. So any anyway, the the point is they did radiocarbon dates, and it said that the archaeology, no word of a lie, right, at the Meadowcroft site, only dated about six years ago, goes back to sixteen thousand years ago. So in other words, all those people saying that history in America only started three hundred years ago were lying, completely lying. So in other words, we've got a really great history in in. In North America now, what's happening in South America? That's what we're going to come on to, but not yet, not yet. So you go to the Meadowcroft site; it's a wonderful site. Um, you you can they they've laid it out, right? No, this is now in North America. Stab, you're getting it all wrong. Good. North America, that's good. That's good. Do you know what? Right, I I it would be just think I I could do a live a live display right and as I'm saying right like, now we're going to be looking at North America and it like so many scribbles on the board above it's great yeah no you've already done it once you don't need to do it again mm, right. right so in other words the the archaeology of North America we know goes back to sixteen thousand years ago but we are doing the archaeology of the Americas right so when they excavated this site the Meadowcroft site so they only started excavating in the 1970s and they they obviously started working on the top layers 
they've got now got like, so they've got they've taken like a foot to go through right now 1979 that'll do fair enough um they they, they and, and then they've taken all these years to get down to the lowest layers and they do think that in fact this site dates back to about 19,000 years ago which is really really old right so the next site we're going to go to is clovis not covid clovis Mind you, mind you, here's a joke. If we were doing the COVID site, it would be a bit contagious. Get it? No. I, 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 th I thought that went really well. Anyway, um, so so basically we've got this, um, this Clovis site, which is actually New Mexico, Texas. Um, and the thing, is with, the thing is with the um, Clovis site. No, that's right, Clovis. Exactly, you spelled it right. The wonderful thing about the Clovis site is that they worked out at the Clovis site um, and they started excavating it in the 1920s. That was found by accident as well because there, there was this guy wandering around, as you do. Wednesday afternoon, it was August, minding his own business. In Keep the 1920 up there a I minute, mean, keep it there. Uh, he was wandering along right, in, in 1906, right? And he found these massive remains of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of an extinct bison, right? And he saw, oh, I'll have a bit of this, right? You know, you're wandering along. It's like extinct bison. And you think, I'm having a bit of this. So he took the bones home, right? And it was only in the 1920s that they started digging. And guess what they should find in? Uh, skulls. Yeah, skulls of mammoths and mastodons. Oh, wow. Mastodons, you know, mass, you know big sort of... Like big mammoths, right? You, you, is that a mammoth you've got there or a mastodon? Uh, it's a mammoth. It's, if, if it's got fur on it, it's a mammoth. If it's not got fur, then it's a mastodon. Yeah. Right. Can you imagine a conversation like, between a mastodon and a mammoth? You know, um, you know 13,500 years ago. No? Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going out shopping, like, you know. Oh, well, I'm not. Yeah, I've been hunted by a uh, good old human. It's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like, uh. Uh, anyway, the next thing, right, and the mastodon's looking at mammoth, and the mammoth falls on the ground because it's been speared by one of the Clovis people with a Clovis point. Uh, and this is the thing. The Clovis people were known for their Clovis points, which we've actually got to see. Cheers, Cravantis. And by the way, I, um, Cravantis mean it's really patronising, actually. Um, but, you know. Anyway, so Cravantis means servant. Hmm. What's wrong? Turkey okay? Yeah, he's just got his eyes closed. Well, okay, anyway, so so what we got, they're, they're being hunted by these people with what's known as Clovis points. And this is what, this is a typical Clovis point. It's great, isn't it? It is. And, and, and what's happening? What's happening? I've got to do the drawing now, not you, Mike. So I got, so ba basically... They're 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 napping out these these little bits of flint all the way along, right? So so they got a napping tool, right? And basically, a napping tool is basically the end of um, uh, an antler, right? So they get a good good old bit. Of, so say that say this is a Clovis point, right? They they they, they get they get this right, and, and they, they 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 nap it, right? They they nap it with an antler, right? Shit, I just broke my phone. They they nap it with an antler, right? To create these. There you go, napping, flip napping, good old napping. Put a bit of pressure on it. Ah, ah, go, ah, go, go. Oh God, look at my screen now. It's all cracked. Anyway, so uh, this is what happens when you're uh, um, using a mobile phone and you're you're, you're demonstrating napping it, right? Uh, with a um, with a antler thingy, um, you know. Woo! They don't go like that. It gives you the wrong impression. Anyway, so the thing is, right, the, the, the material, right, now we've got to clear all off the screen and your stuff as well. Uh, they, 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 they use something known as CHERT, which is uh, C-H-E-R-K, uh, no, T, T, C-H-E-R-T, CHERT, right? And CHERT itself is basically, I'll show you the CHERT one, right? Um, I, I thought you were going to write CHERT up there. Never mind, you ruined my day now. Uh, that one's a CHERT one, right? Okay, that one's shirt by a guy. <laughs> right, um, and that one there is flint. That that's a flint one. Yeah, um, and I do believe that that might actually be now. What? 
Clive. Dave. Oh, I see what you did there. See, there's a big differentiation between Clive had access to lots of chert, right? Um, and Dave had lots of access to Flint. But there's one, right? Fred used something known as obsidian. Uh, that's the black stuff, isn't it? That's the black stuff, yeah, black stuff. Ah, uh, no, hang on a minute, right? We're going to test him, Michelle. I told you it's obsidian, the black stuff, that's right. But what is obsidian made out of? It's, um... If, if you get this right, I got it. like molten to... lava. You got it right. They basically glassified molten lava. So because you got it right, I got I got to drink the tea. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Did you say you wanted a cup of tea, um, Stav? Oh yeah. Oh, that, that's good. Oh yeah. May, may, maybe you should just say, "Hey, Rosamond, you witch, get me a cup of tea." So, uh, <laughs> right. So where were we? Oh, but the yes, obsidian. So um, at this site. At this site that they're working at, the Clovis sites in New Mexico and Texas, because there's loads of them, right? Basically, they, they found evidence of Flint, which is uh, Dave's there. They found evidence of Clive's chert. And also, hey, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to co complicate it now. That one is probably Chalcodoni. Never heard of it. Well, I don't even bother spelling it because I'm not going to either. I know how to. I know how to. Chalcodoni. Oh, I'll give it a go. I, I, I want to see. I want to see your efforts. Chal. No, hey, 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 Chal, Chal, C H A, Chal, L L, K, C H. No, 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 no. Well, Chal if you put a H between. Hang the... on. Hang Chal, Chal Adoni, is it? Chalcodoni. Chalcodoni. Okay, Charles. Do, do, do you know? Do you know it's it's a bit like going. It's a bit like going to Sicily, isn't it? What's your name? My name is Chalcadoni. <laughs> is it? And, and do you want to buy some olives? And if you don't, I will kill you and wipe out all your family. There's a Y oh. on the end. No. Oh, no. See. Uh, anyway, it's close. Um. Good. Like it. Right. And get rid of the other. Uh, and there's a C H C H Chal. No, get rid of the C. Anyway, you go, go it's close. Chalcedony, right? I know you haven't heard of it, but it's like in in that four, right? It's in the four, right? Now, most flint is on the other side of the United States in Pennsylvania, so they would have used more obsidian arrowheads back at this site, which is in New Mexico, which is towards the center of North America, towards Mexico itself. So there you go. <clears throat> You would assume that New Mexico is New Mexico, wouldn't you? And do you know why it's called New Mexico? Because it's new. Because it's new. That's good. That's good. Right, next slide, man, bruv. Oh, we, we got to... We, we, um, are you still there, Evan? Uh, yes, Cal. We've got 14 minutes left now. 40 or 14? I don't think you can count. Both. You know what, what? What we could do, we could do these archaeology classes. We could put a bit of maths in there. We could do a bit of spelling, um, history, archaeology, geology, um, um, f um, um, physics, chemistry, running. Yeah, we'll put a bit of Olympics in there as well. So this itself, guess where this is from? That is Texas. Um, Where's it from? Um. I don't know. Is it, is, it, is it a piece of bread? Texas. Right. Is it from Texas? Yeah, I did. I, it's amazing that, yeah, this, this is actually an early type, a pre-Clovis point from Texas. Right? Mm -hmm. So what it is now, what it is, where are we? Right? Where are we? Right? North, northern part of America, northeast part of North America, you've got this site in Pennsylvania. Right? And then um, near, in, near sort of New Mexico, and then you've got Texas, you've got amazingly enough you've got um what they're finding is they're finding pre-clovis points what pre-clovis points are right instead of being napped beautifully all on both sides which is known as a bifacial which means bi which means two-sided right okay um bi always means two right 
And then this is unifacial. Oi, stop fidgeting. Uh, this is unifacial, which is actually napped on one side. So in other words, uni, uni, nap. So it's not napped on this side, it's napped on the other side, right? And this is at a site in Texas. Good old Texas, good old Texas. Do you want to go for a ride on my donkey? Oh, no, that was more um, Tennessee, but never mind. But anyway, what? Well, hey. Don't. Never mind. It was really weird yesterday. We took we took the um, we took the van to be um, to be looked at and, and checked over, right? And uh, and and the only the the guy said you're not coming here unless you bring your bugle and bugle it for us. Isn't that right, Michelle? Yeah. I know it sounds mad, but you know I live in a mad world. Yeah. You know, it's like today going in a bank with a face mask on and like um, totally covered up and they say, oh, I want to rob the bank. But we can't see your face. That's the whole point. I've got my face mask on. I can't take it off. Oh, okay. Do you know, this is really weird. Like 15, no, 15 months ago, you couldn't go on a bank, go in a bank with a face mask. And now, now you can. But anyway, this, this is this is that wonderful. You just he's disappeared. I'm all by myself. There's a song there. All by myself. Don't want to be. Oh, so depressing. Yeah, I know it is. I, I, I know it is. Uh, anyway, this is the Clovis site excavated. And what they've done, they put a big building over it so people can go, go in there and say, oh, wow, that's brilliant. We've got, we've got early evidence there. And there they are. They're finding all wonderful things in the ground there. Do you know, as Donald Trump would say, all wonderful things. It's, it's wonderful. I think that was his most favorite word, actually, Donald Trump. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, the the main thing is that they're excavating the site, and, and there you can see is is the lower mandible, the lower part of the skull of. There you go. I think that's that. I think I think because mammoths um, have the, have, have the, like these big gr weird grinding things on the side of their face, right? So I think this is actually the skull of a mastodon. So, um, and the one thing that they're saying with these sites in Texas and um, uh, the other site, the, the Clover site in New Mexico, you know, what they're, what they're saying is that, that these people, right, staff, we could go back and time and change this, right, with the Kalashnikov rifle, uh, these people uh, let cause the extinction of the mammoths and the mastodons. You didn't get that far, did you? you, 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 you so what we could do is stand in front of the mammoths and the mastodons and, and stop them killing them all. Maybe. And maybe we could bring one back and let it wander around in his powers. Oh, that's a very bad idea. Why is that a very bad idea? It would kill thousands. Well, well just a mammoth would kill thousands? Yes. Well, it certainly deals with the excessive human population, doesn't it? True. Yeah, we could get what we could do is bring back mammoths from the past, let them trample around London, right? And then you know, it, people would get hurt. Mind, it's not good. Forget the idea. Exactly. Right. Anyway, so uh, what the hell is that? Your is that your illustration of a mammoth? Yeah. It's got a bit more hair on it. Look, look, stab, stab. Leave it there. No, that looks like legs. Those are legs. Yes, and uh, this is. Bob. Well, we've got, we've got, right, sort of like, they got all these hairs on it. Yeah. There you go. A, a typical hairy mammoth. Do you know what they call the Mary mammoths? Uh, yes. Um, what is that? Yeah, they're um, they've done how you say that. Because they were hairy. They're um, um. Jesus. The question is, do, do you recognise him? Yeah, he's from, um, what's it called? Uh, Jesus, where's he from? I know him. You know him? Uh, yeah. You've got to get his name, otherwise we're not doing it anymore. Go on. I don't know. Um, well, he's a guy. What's this one again? It begins with a T. Terence. No, not Terence, no. Terry. It's the, it's the program, no, it's not called Terry, no. Oh, the program, um. Tweenies. What? It's called Tweenies. It's called Tweenies. 
Oh. Can you remember the tweenies? Ish. I know the guy. Yeah, what's he keep? Who's he called then? I don't know. John. Jake. Jake. Oh. Somebody gave it to me as a present yesterday. Oh, I see. I don't know why. But anyway, let, let's crack. Oh, we did the mom, mama stuff, didn't we? We've got to crack on now. Oi. There we go. Get all that off there. Right, good. Uh, right, moving on. Right, so there, there's more of our Clover stuff, right? Look at that. In, in that, in that, great, right? So, it's so the best, best way, right, is, is that uh, these would be mounted in. So if we chuck a bit of a spear in there, right? I'm doing the one. You can do the other one, right? So that, that, that would be mounted in a spear, right? And the, what they would do, right? They, they, they close. Yeah, I, I was going to do that. You're cheating now. I was going to. So, so what they what they do? Oh. They, they they bind it on. They bind it on like that, right? A bit of bit of the old string binding there, right? And then they they would use they would use glue. They would use resin, right? Resin from a tree. So they, you might do it one of two ways. Actually, you might put the you might have the shaft, right? And you might uh, try and attach it to the shaft, right? With a little split in the wood. Attach it to the shaft. A little bit of split in the wood. Right? Put it in there. Have it set in glue and then then bind it with um, with sinews, right? From from animals or, or 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 string that you can make from other things like nettles and so on. Um, and then you put some more resin on it, or then you just might mount it and just put resin on it and bind it with string, depending on what, what whatever you're doing. But that that's basically how these would be mounted. Look at the size. Look at the size of that one. That's massive, isn't it? It is. But the big question yeah. is. Do, do, do you know the unusual thing on this picture? What's the unusual uh, thing of the picture? Do you know what that is there? That's a diamond. Or a crystal. Where the hell's the image gone? It's for me. Where's the, where, the image is gone. Huh? Oh, it's still there. Sorry. Do you know what that is then? Oh, that, that's, um, that's an, yeah, uh, that's one of those things you use to, like, uh, sharpen things, isn't it? No, it's something actually quite different. Well, actually, what they do believe, right, that was, that was held, right, that, that was held like that in, in your hand, right, and then what you might do is you might, you might put a, you might put, a, like, a, a, um, an arrow in it, right, and you would use it to fling the arrow over. That's what they reckon. It was known as a baton de corps. Oh. But, but to be honest, that, that's a bit complicated. Why didn't you just throw it in the first place? Uh, other other ideas, it could be like a musical instrument, or it could be a straightening device, as you as you mentioned. Like you said a sharpening, but it could be actually a straightening straightening device for a spear, for example. We found loads of these across the world, but then again, we we've no idea what they are. Now they didn't have any of these in Cardiff. Right, but but what we do find is these in Europe, and we actually find them in America and other places. So that's what that is. So hey, hey, let's get on to the next image. Ah, uh, look at that man! Look, look at the detail in that. That that would that would have taken a, a quite a bit of time to actually do something like that. You know what I mean? Was it made? What? Was it made? Of course it's made. Are you thinking it was made by aliens or something? No, I thought it was, like, discovered. Oh, yeah, no. What? No, it was originally made, then it was discovered, yeah. They, 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 these... Oh, I thought they discovered it in the mountains. They, they, these, these year would have been, would have been arrowheads like that. But they, but after, after they've hit the ground, they, 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 they've broken off. Those are all arrowheads. They've all, so in other words, when when the, ah, and actually that that's that's lost its end as well. That that that's lost its end as well. But it would have been a bit more smoother than that. So uh, yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, cool. Cow. Cow. What? Cow. What? We've got six minutes left. Sixteen minutes left. I've got to be honest with you. You can't count. No, we've got five. Five. What? Yeah. Exactly five. Exactly five. Shut up. 
Shut. Anyway, no look. Lie. What? No lie. Look, look, look at that there. Look at that there. Now, this is really interesting, right? Because, right? Because what, what, what we do know, yeah, is that we've got, we've got archaeological evidence of people in North America. Uh, so we worked out this is actually 16,000 years ago. Uh, the new site in Texas is between 15 and a half and 16,000 years ago. The Clover site is 13 and a half thousand years ago. But the thing that blows this all out of the water, Stav, you know, is actually there is some really early evidence in North, in South America, which we haven't actually mentioned today. There we go. At a place called Monteverde. So, so you know, there's also really early stuff. Now, this is the one at that site uh, near Texas. Near a place called Austin in good oh. old Texas. You coming back to Austin? If you come back to Austin, you get some wonderful burgers. The burgers are absolutely amazing. You come back to Austin and you will be a god. <sighs> I thought that <laughs> sounded quite good. It, it sounded quite good. Yeah, yeah well done. Do you know what? What are you doing learning about American history? American history began last year when I was wandering across the road and I saw Donald Trump. And I said, Donald Trump, we've just started American history. And he said, you damn Chinese person. And I said, you are racist. And that was the end of that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Um, anyway, um, there. Oh my God, it's a face. I made a face on accident. No, that's not a face. There's, there's a pistol there. There's a pistol. No, that, um, that's not a pistol. There's a mountain there. This is a water bottle over here. No, um, no, it's not. These are eyes. Both of these. No, yeah, no, eyes. it's not eyes. No, no. Oh yes, they are cold. <laughs> no, they're not. You just, you just talking rubbish. The only thing actually on the screen, which is archaeology, is that. Oh. That's the pre-Clovis uni face, which means that only one nap piece of doof. Um, um, actually, yeah, that's chert. Um, but that there is from that Friendkin site in um, Texas, which which is actually pre-Clovis, which means there is actually quite an amazing find. I thought I thought I'd actually tell you that, you know. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So this this is amazing, right? Hey, shh. You you can't. Actually, you are allowed to you are allowed to, to do some drawing. The earliest stuff in the Americas is this side at Toca de Tira Paya, which is in South America and the bluefish site. So in other words, what that means, Stav, right? If the people got to America very, very early, they actually got to America um, here. And then they got to America here. So where did the people from here come from? Did they come from Africa? Did they come from uh, Europe? Where did these people come from? They obviously okay. come from Asia and Siberia, right? So then the other the other thing as well is, the other thing as well is, we get rid of them. Isn't that great? Look at that. Oh, I am just so amazed with this. I, oh, I can, I can erase your red lines. Sorry. No, you can't. I just did. How? I don't know. Well, I'm not going to tell you because if you if you learn, you'll be able to erase all mine. No, um, I wouldn't. You're the um the host, so I probably can't delete anything of yours. Do you know what? There's a there's a there, you're the host with the most do 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 do. And then what we do see in North America is sites and South America sites that um are sick over sixteen and sixteen thousand years old and older. Ah, this place called Topper. Can you imagine? I'm gonna go and see Papa and Topper. Anyway, sorry, um, that's in Florida. Um, and then there, you've got this, this site in Meadowcroft. I'm going to go to the old Meadowcroft site. So that's there. Um, so you've got some very early stuff in uh, North America, right? Um, and then just, just, just then when you start to get, things start to get really interesting, right? And then the stuff that's 14,000 years old and more in North and South America, this salt place called Saltville, this place called Cactus Hill. Do you know why they call it Cactus Hill? There's lots of cactuses on a hill. That's good. That's good. Um, and then they call it, um, um, Huaca Prieta. 
Um, Guaca Prieta, that's in South America, yeah? You got the guacamole. Monteverde. So, in other words, it's really interesting because the early stuff is in South America and in North America, right? And then you've got this place called that sounds like a woman, doesn't it? Paige Ladson, and you, another bloke called Paisley. They're up there. So, oh, and, and Trinket Island. So it's really interesting to see that lots of very early stuff is actually in South and North America. But some of the earliest stuff on the entire chat is, in fact. Go on, let's do it, man. Is in fact there a bluefish and a tonka de chair up here. Have you seen uh, Pepper's uh, Pep, um, Mr. Popper's pen penguins? Who? Have you seen Have you seen the Jim Carrey film with um, um, uh, Mr. Popper's penguins? Um, I don't think I have. You've got to see it because the woman in it, right? Who's speaking to Jim Carrey? Every word has to be beginning with a P. So her name is Pippa uh, Popadopoulos, who works for um, uh, Peter Popper. It's really strange. Oh. You, need, you need to get it. You need to get it. Well, watch it. Watch it with um, great, 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 great granddad uh, Thomas later on. Yes. Hey, and there's one thing, right? Call call Tom Captain Birdseye. Captain oh. He does look like Captain Birdseye. Have you ever seen the Captain Birdseye advert? Who hasn't? It's just, it's just like really dodgy. Come on, children, come in my cabin. And none of the children come out alive. And then loads of fish come out the other end. What does that tell you? No, no, fish fingers come out the other end. No, sure. No, 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 sure. No, no, no. I'll start that again. War, cabin birds, I come in my cabin. And all these children going in, they never ever return. And then, strangely enough, three or five hours later, it's like like an oven burning, right? And all these like fish fingers come out. And nobody's worked out that fish don't have fingers. So where therefore, whose fingers are these fish fingers? Um you know, the uh... All the children have gone in there, exactly. Yeah. You know, you know, I, 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 you know, you should be very wary of people who ask you to go into their cabin and you don't come out alive. And then the person sells things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like right. It's Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd, exactly. Sweeney Todd. That's a good one. That's a good one. With we are one of Johnny Depp's um, absolutely brilliant films. Um, I just think, Stan, here's here's a bit of dodgy stuff, right? If anyone ever, if, if, if anyone ever invites you into a cabin, right, and there's loads of shoes and clothes piled up outside, right, and the guy makes brushes out of hair. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's a giveaway. Yeah, kind of. And also he sells, he sells burgers. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the and yeah, don't 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 go anywhere near that. Just to, it's, it's it's a life warning, right? It's a life yeah. warning. Oh, by the way, Carl, just uh, by yeah. the way, what's that? What's that? What's it's that? Like? Three minutes past eleven. Three minutes past eleven. So so I gotta go soon, have I, Lee? Aye. 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 All right, all right. We're not we're not gonna be doing too long, now, like. <laughs> what's it you for, like? Do you know? Do you know, I, I was asked to do a Liverpudlian accent once, like, and you know, I, I was asked to do a Liverpudlian accent, and I said, no, you can't do that. They didn't give it to me because it sounded too Evertonian, look. Does that sound good, Michelle? You saying getting on with the teaching. I'll have the sack at this rate. Anyway, so so this this site here is our Meadowcroft site, and there it is. There it is. There. Do you see that? Yes. That's where it is. That's the Meadowcroft site. And you know, if you go to the Meadowcroft site, right, you can actually see where they found this stuff that goes back to sixteen thousand years old. And you know what? The Americans are really strange. And you know why the Americans are really strange? Is they argue over when people first got to North America.
right? So on the one hand, you've got you've got people from Europe saying, oh, we got to North America 300 years ago, and that's when the history of North America starts. Then you get people of an Afro-Caribbean background saying the same thing. And then you get the Native Americans are saying, hang on a minute, right? We've been here for a long time, right? Because we've got the, the archaeological evidence of this site at Meadowcroft, right, which is this one in, in Pennsylvania. And we've got the one in New Mexico. And we can actually prove it because we've got the archaeology in it. It's just like, it, it's really political. It's really, really, it's really, really political. Um, anyway, they protect their archaeology and they're really starting to tell people about it and they're really starting to sort of go out there uh, and make it really, really relevant. And the interesting thing is, because it's a rock shelter, right, on a regular basis, the rocks the rocks would fall and anything underneath is going to be flattened, right, and it's going to be in the ground forever, right? And guess what? They were. Guess what? Uh, as, as they were excavating nearly the, the 14 feet in depth of archaeology there, they found layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of, of everything, right? And they identified throughout those layers that went back um, up to 19,000 years ago, at least 16,000 years ago. They, they found layers which represented 149 different animals. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Just like, I tell you, what, if you sat down and you, you said, right, you name 149 animals anywhere on the planet, I, th I think, you know, after a while, you'd, you'd, it would be difficult to probably get past 60, you know. So at this site, they found 149 Native American animals, right? And that, that's, that's, the, that's the fauna, not the flora, not the flowers and everything else that they found there. So in other words, what they're, what they're saying is people are saying, oh, we don't believe this. Well, we've got the radiocarbon dating evidence. We don't believe this. We've got the layers. We don't believe this. We've got all these animals. We don't believe this. You, you know, it's just like they've got so much stuff telling telling you that there, there's so much going on in this site. This is amazing. That's what it used to look like, all right, in the 1970s. But since then, they have really excavated it and they've really started to learn. But there, you know what? In life, some things in life are sad and they really make you mad. Some things in life make you laugh and smile and no. Never mind. Anyway, the, the one thing is they, they've actually been to a very, very interesting site. Right. And you know what? You know, you, you heard about the saying you've got the, the cat amongst the pigeons. Uh, no, you've never come across the sit. Hang on a minute. Stop a minute. Right. Stop. 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 You've never come across the, the, the saying cat amongst the pigeons. Is it like um the odd one out or something? Yeah, no, but basically one minute, right? Two examples. One minute, you've got like everything's going well, North America, right? Everyone believes that early people got to North America via Alaska. Let's just ignore the stuff in Brazil from 22,000 years ago. Let's just ignore it, right? And Monteverde in in, um, in Chile. We'll just ignore that. Bit. Just forget it, right? North Americans are so brilliant, right? So cat amongst the pigeons is when when basically suddenly – when everything looks as if it's going well, you chuck the cat in there and all the pigeons fly up in the air and everything goes wrong. That's the cat amongst the pigeons. Oh, I see. I'm glad you see because I, I, I yeah, there we go. Now, the cat amongst the pigeons in, 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 um, in North America is when you look at South America and you look at this site, which is known as Pedro Forada. Yeah, Pedro Ferrada. And there's Pedro Ferrada. It sounded like um, Dracula, didn't it? You know? At Pedro Ferrada, what they did, they started finding loads of painted cave art, which dates back to 12,000 years ago, which is which is extraordinary anyway. right? And, and what you do, you go on these little um, walkways and you see this wonderful painted art. And it's, it's, it's like brilliant stuff. It's, it's like amazing stuff that they're seeing. All these figures that look really, really European. But as they started to dig in the archaeology... Um, as they started to dig down in the archaeology, what they did find at this site or nearby this site was something unbelievable. And Pedra Farada means uh, pierced rock. Uh, pierced rock. Farada pierced um, Padra rock. Uh, and what they found is that there's so much archaeological sites and there's rock painting going back to 12,000 years ago. They started excavating there. And guess what? The proverbial cat amongst the pigeons was, more importantly, charcoal from very ancient fires and stone shards, um, bit, bits of stone broken off. 
um, that may be interpreted as tools found at the location were dated. Stav, wait for it. What's the oldest stuff that we said is in the Americas ever found so far? Come on. Uh -huh. What was that earliest date? Um, 1920. 22,000. 22,000. What was the earliest date? 22,000. Oh yeah, it was uh, twenty-two thousand, I believe. Yeah, well done. I'm glad. I'm glad you remembered that. So um, the earliest date was twenty-two thousand years ago, right? Interestingly enough, guess where that earliest date was? South America. Guess where that earliest South date was? South America. That's good. I'm glad you're taking it all in, right? South America. It was near the Pedra Ferrada site, which basically means pierced rock. So the the thing is, the amazing thing is, right? The amazing, amazing thing is, is that they dated it to 48,000 years ago. Oh, my God, that's a good outline of North America. Seeing as yeah. it's North, see, it's not North America, is it South America? See, I caught you out there. You weren't listening. That was a good outline of South America, that one. Anyway, so they, they had archaeological evidence from 48,000 years ago. Now, now that's really interesting. So that means that, that this is tens of thousands of years earlier than people were meant to arrive in North America. So where did these people actually come from? Could they have come from Europe? Could they have come um, over um, um, sort of the islands which once existed when when the ice sheets were, were uh, when the when the ice sheet were, were at their maxims in other words there was loads of ice in the in the ice sheets right so um it's basically repeated analysis has confirmed the dating to be a lot earlier than forty eight thousand years ago but what other what other people have argued paleontologists and archaeologists and other experts they, they've argued that actually even though the charcoal might date to um, to as far back as forty eight, if not sixty thousand years ago, right? It, it could they could actually relate to natural fires, but then other people have said, "Hang on, you don't get natural fires in caves." Oh, okay then. What must have happened is that monkeys went into uh, these caves, caves, right? Monkeys went into these caves. Um, uh, the, the bearded monkey, you know, the capuchin monkeys would have gone into these caves and they would have knocked stones against each other um, and causing fires in the caves. And you're thinking, oh, I mean, this is a bit too far fetched. But like very interestingly enough to sort of keep this into your mind um, is that the archaeologist who discovered this said the following. And this is where we'll end, Evan, because, you know, Evan, we got well, you know, I know we've got a couple of minutes to go, Evan, right? or a couple of minutes over. The French archaeologist that excavated this said, actually, um, the carbon is not from a natural fire. The carbon dating, the original fires in that area are not natural, right? They must have been created by something. And people have said, oh, it must have been cre created by monkeys. And then he said, no, it is only found inside these sites. It's found nowhere else because there's monkeys everywhere. It's found nowhere else. You don't get natural fires inside the shelters, as I said. The problem is that the, Amer the Americans in the north criticize without knowing. So the... the in North America, they don't want people in South America to say that they were, they were occupied before people in North America, right? North Americans should excavate more and write less. It's said that the, the flakes and the stones um, might, might not, the, the flakes are of the stones um, could not have been created by monkeys. Um, but with a mixture of the of the burning um, and the stone and all the other evidence, some people in South America really, really do believe that the earliest evidence in South America does actually come from humans. People got to South America before North America, and that's what they feel. But we might not know the answer for many, many years. And on that note, what we're going to do, we're going to stop the screen sharing, right? I'm all alone on the screen with another little voice in the background. Are there any questions, uh, wonderful Evan? No, Carl. Did you enjoy that, Evan? Aye, aye, Carl. Aye, aye, he's a bloody sailor now. What, what, what about you, Evan? Aye. No, that's no, no. Oh, no. There's two of you, is there? What about you, Stav? 
Oh, yes, Carl. I'm all right now. Well, that's not you. You're, you're doing Evan again. Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't know how to do my voice now. You know how you do your own voice. No. So any questions have you got, uh, Evan? Uh, no, Stav? No. Uh, all right, Dan. If there's, if there's no other questions, right, we'll, we'll be doing this again in two weeks, like, and which which should be fine. Which which we which should be absolutely fine. So if there's nothing else, right? Go on, ask me just one question before we go, because I'm feeling a bit lonely here. Okay. Um. That's a good one. Why are you Cymru and not Welsh? Actually, 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 there's there's a set technical error, right? Because it should said I am Cymru, which is C. U M R O, which is a Welsh male, and uh, not a Welsh, right? Because the word Welsh means foreigner, um, a foreign person, and the word Wales means a foreign land. So the problem is, by using the word Wales and Welsh in Wales, you're calling yourself a foreigner in your own country because the name Wales and Welsh actually comes from the English. What? Yes. It's true. It's true. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. No, I'm not. No. I've never known this. Oh, my God. You've actually learned something today. Brilliant. Other than you haven't learned anything else, right? When, 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 when did the people first get to South America? Up to 48,000 years ago. 1921. 1921. Shut up. Right. So, look, the meaning... Uh, here we go. Me, if we type in the meaning of Wales, not Wales in the sea. The meaning of Wales. Uh, hang on a minute. Meaning of Wales. Hang on. Hang on. Where does it got? Right. Here we go. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I got. I got to find. I got to find the right thing. Ah, uh, here we go. This is it. Look, watch this on the screen. There. Oh no, I'm not showing it. No. <laughs> no, here we go. You got. You got to look at this, right? This is from. Here we go. This is from um, origin of the name Wales. The Welsh call their land Cymru. The term Wales is considered to be of English origin and to derive from a Germanic root meaning foreigner. We propose that the name Wales was indeed of Welsh origin and and no and connoted land of bile, and that it's original. Oh, that does something else, right? Um, but here in the in the in the Germanic meaning, uh, which was made into English, it basically means means a foreigner. But there's another explanation there. Um, Valentia, which was may have been the Roman name for Wales, right? Um, Valentia being um, sounded very similar to Wales and Welsh. That's another way of looking at it. Uh, Valentia, Valentia, and in English this became Wales. So technically, it's a well, it's an English term. Whether it means, but I lots of people believe it means foreigner. Others others don't. Uh, but that 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 just gives you an idea. Got it? Yes. Cool. See, I wasn't joking either. No. I wasn't joking. See, now, now you can go to school thinking I'm a foreigner in my own land. Um, so, um, if they... Uh, you don't want to ask any other questions, do you? No, no. Oh, okay. I need you on. Go on, oh, oh, Rosamund's there. Hello. Yes, we got a... Oh, now that went quick, didn't it? Yeah, it went quick. So, so we you just kicked Stav off now. So, um, yeah, no, he's leaned ask... back on the get yourself ready to go, babes. Pack everything up, everything, because you've seen your dad today. Everything. Go on, right. Everything. Anyway, uh, Stav, I'll see you next. I'll see you in two weeks. Okay. See you in two weeks, is it? Yeah. See you in two All weeks, right. Stav. Yeah. Anyway, well done. Did you enjoy that today? Yes. I mean, I have to do the one on Lloyd George. Perhaps we could do that together in two weeks. Yes. Should we do that into or is it just young explorers on a Saturday? Yes. Ah, that kicks me off then. What well, Tom no, you could, you could, you could, you could. You're a lady of a certain age, dear. You could, you could dress up in drag. 
<laughs> well, funnily enough, <laughs> my friend Charlie has suggested that, but not drag, dress up as a drag woman, not as a drag man. Oh, does that? But work? then you'd have to have a drag name, wouldn't you? Um, Charlotte. Who yours is? <laughs> See you her name. Charlie, her real name is Charlie Sparrow. Now, can you guess what her drag name is? <laughs> no. Well, think of a bird. Sparrow. Sh Charlie Swallows, anyhow. <laughs> oh, my God, Charlie Sparrow. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, I, I, very I, funny. <laughs> I, I just, I just get, I'm getting lost. All right, then, would, would you, would... We'll, have to do, we'll have to do Lloyd George next time, then. I'm going to do the smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god Lloyd George right is there anything you want to ask me before Davos no, 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 no. And, and you Rosamond and on that note <laughs> on that note we'll go off and do our swimming via yeah, my think, mother and the garden. I, think, I think you should I think you should uh... yeah anyway yeah. Rosamond get in touch soon and we'll have a chat okay will do Carlos have a good weekend I will and you I, all right bye all Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Right. So, anyone watching online on YouTube, we're just about to finish. So, if you ever want to join us online, then you can. So, I'll put the website address there. Online. We we got. Bingo. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Finishing now. Goodbye. Whoever watched us there.